In this video I'm going to talk about the Atmel Gallery and extensions to Studio 7. Studio 7 is quite a modular platform and much of the functionality actually comes through in the form of extensions. So I'm going to talk about some of the default extensions, certain popular extensions and then also other ex extensions which I just happen to use in the series and in my daily development. I'm also going to show you how you can connect the Studio options for the tools to the extensions which are installed. Let's have a look. Under Tools, Atmel Gallery Profile, I can see my profile. If, if I don't have a profile, Tools, Gallery Profile, if you're a new user, you'll click here and you'll fill in some basic information, confirm your email, etc. Then you'll get a profile. And now I can go to the extensions and updates. So there are a number of default extensions. So these are the installed extensions that I have. Um, Atmel Kits enables the active kit detection that we have. Atmel Software Framework is delivered as an extension, as is Atmel Start. A lot of the functionality here is covered in the Start integration video. The toolchain provider, for example, so if I just click on the package reconfiguration, this is essentially that extension. So I can see here a list of the different toolchain options. And if I want 8 bit C language, I can add a flavor to the installed toolchain. The data visualizer is also used later in the series, and that is a default part of Studio, as is Visual Assist, which is basically the editor that we use. Note that with all the extensions you can click more information and for instance here you can get an overview video of Visual Assist although we will cover it more in an embedded context later in the series. Atmel Gallery you can also browse extensions directly online gallery.atmel.com you can get more information about certain of the extensions one of the popular extensions is the Arduino IDE for Atmel Studio and this supports traditional Arduino development directly within Atmel Studio. So some of the available downloads, um, the Lufa library, a lightweight USB framework for AVR, uh, CodeVision is a C compiler and graphical configuration wizard also for AVR. FreeRTOS and Trace is very useful when you're using FreeRTOS and can offer some graphical tracing of RTOS threads. Nagi is very useful when used with the Atmel software framework that it grays out all the code um, which is not defined in the project. The framework uses a number of if defs etc. Just note that Atmel start generates ASF4 which is separate from the Atmel software framework you see here. So again if I go tools options here I will see a number of of elements for example with Atmel Start and many of these are actually related to the extensions that you'll see in the options here. Note also that there's a partner website and if you'd like to extend Atmel Studio 7 here's an XDK to get going.